the mean and and monstrous Koba, who I, I guess was was kind of um, characterized off of Fedor Emelianenko, who, by the way, you looked a lot meaner than Fedor ever looked in his life, by the way. Well, Fedor, he always has a smile on his face. You don't know if he's mad or happy. Um, I can tell you this. When I was casting for it, they, 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 they tried at least 48, 49 different fighters uh, and actors. They couldn't get the right look, and if they did, uh, the person was full of tattoos. So thank God I was in the right place at the right time. I was near the end of the line where they were going to just settle for somebody. I came in, I blew them away with my sparring, my technique, my, my striking, and my takedowns. Thank God. Um, then they, I knew where they were going. When they said, um, we want you to be a Russian fighter named Koba, that shows no emotion. I'm like, they don't. So they asked me some questions. They said, can you, how much you weigh? I said, 230. They said, can you lose 30 pounds? I said, yeah, sure. They said, could you not tan for a couple of months because obviously Fedor is pretty, you know, pale. Yeah. And uh, and they um, they also asked me if I had any tattoos, and I thought, well, Fedor doesn't have any. T no, I don't. And I lied. I have one on my back. So you know, thank God. In the movie, they they covered it up. But what I did is I I studied tapes of Fedor, and he's. You'd think it'd be easy because he doesn't really show any emotion, but I couldn't figure him out. Like. He's getting ready to fight. He just he has a little cracked smile, like you know, it just never it just stays like that, you know. I'm and I'm like, they want me to be this guy. I I'll try to be him, but me, because I can't I can't figure this guy out. He's too complex. But um, yeah, they based him off of, they based it off of Vador, and um, at the time he was undefeated. Besides the fight when he got the cut, so he he was a lot more popular at that point. This was two years ago, two and a half years ago when we filmed it. So, um, yeah, I lost the weight, I quit tanning, I learned the techniques. Uh, the great thing about being a pro wrestler, thank God, is that I could learn the choreography 30 times faster than other fighters. Uh, I learned the choreography like that, and they were worried about that because I had to be on the road four or five days a week on wrestling, and I was only there limitedly. So I promised them that I would learn the technique very quickly, and I did. So they were very impressed by that, and I was just happy to be a part of this movie. I, kn I knew it would be a huge success, but I didn't know it was going to be this good. You know, one of the greatest lines in the film when it comes to your character is is Brandon's wife, and, and he says to her, I'm gonna, I'm fighting guys who watch too much fighting on TV. And then she says, you're fighting Koba. He's the guy that those guys are watching fight, right? You know what I mean? And it really puts your character into perspective. And then they cut to you, and you're like this stoic, mean character with this, you know, and great lines, by the way. But no, I'm... No, I know. They took him out. I was... They, they, you know what? I understand now. I, Fedor doesn't do interviews, and... They, they had me learn Russian, and I, I learned it for three months. And I did it very well, thank God. But uh, I think they went back and said, you know what, Fedor doesn't talk. Let's pull that out. I want to add it to the mystique of the little, character. I was a little sad, you know. I was like, oh, man, all that Nothing work. to be ashamed. This movie is phenomenal. <laughs> You're I'm great in it. You look that. awesome in it. You look like a mean mother effer. <laughs> you know, you did a great job. Now, let's take it to reality for a second, and you got to be on your shoulder. Oh. Take it for reality for one second. Brock Lesnar is a guy who, you know, you comes from your world into UFC. Did a great job, won the championship. Now he's got a big fight with a guy named Alistair Overeem, one of the guys that I wouldn't want to fight. Um, what, do, what do you think of your, of your cohort, Brock? I have a lot of respect for Brock. I think that any fight he's in, he has a chance. He, you, you, don't, you don't realize how strong and how athletic Brock Lesnar is until you get in that ring with him. I've, I've sparred with him in real wrestling. I'm not going to tell you who won. I'll say I was very happy with the outcome. But I, I'm, a, I'm a much more experienced wrestler. Um, Brock Lesnar is the best athlete over 250 that I've ever seen in my life. He uh, it, he benches over 600 pounds. I've seen him squat over 1,000 pounds. This guy is an animal. So you can't say that he has no chance. He always has a chance. And you know what? He can take a punch. Of course, he's gotten knocked down, and he's gotten knocked out, but he can take a punch. The guy's an animal, so he has a shot every time he goes out there, and I wish him the best. I'm getting daggers, so I'll let no, you I go. Know you do. I know you are. Take care, man. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.